This passionate portrait of the girl with the green eyes appeals to every emotion. This piece is remarkable in the collection for the sheer volume of paint on a single canvas. The brook stops suddenly below the footbridge, holding its breath. What will happen next in this dramatic conflict between man and nature? In the greenery of Cape Cod, an auspicious black tie affair, appropriate for those who've never been able to tie one of the things. At last, a bold new collection that celebrates artistic flops, failures and foul-ups, brought to you by the Museum of Bad Art, known simply to its affectionate followers as MOBA. This is the MOBA's Mona Lisa. Um, it's the first painting in the collection and uh, the one that we are the most, uh, obviously the most proud of. The museum's curator, antique collector and art school dropout Scott Wilson found Lucy in the field with flowers in a rubbish bin one night four years ago. She seems to be hovering in these daisies, not necessarily sitting. So this particular piece set the standard for bad art? Yes, most definitely. Well, it, it, it definitely just was, uh, at that point, it uh, put it in our minds that there must be more stuff out there like this. It, it appears to me to be like one of those haunted house paintings where uh, the eyes follow you around the room. This is uh, Sunday on the Pot with George, and obviously uh, a stunning, pointless uh, work, which we are very proud uh, to have made a permanent part of the collection. So the Museum of Bad Art is a tribute to people who just haven't quite made it. Right, it definitely is a tribute. We're trying to say to the, uh, to the world, you know, what right do you have to uh, name a museum of fine arts? You know, why is these things kept out? You know, why isn't everybody included in the world of art? Well, it is, it is definitely bad. And the other thing that's remarkable is he's got no feet. The Museum of Bad Art, complete with cheap wine and savouries, is now even listed in the Boston phone directory. The Friends of MOBA proudly present the Virtual Museum of Bad Art. Art, 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 art. And like other museums of high repute, it's also available on CD-ROM, a tour through the cyberspace of bad art for followers who can't seem to get enough. Is it really bad? Uh, no, it's not that bad. I'd hang it in my, my uh, living room. Not on your life. <laughs> <laughs> For artists like Bonnie Daly, the museum gives failure a newfound respect. She created Pablo Presley as a gift for her brother-in-law, who handed it over right away. At first I didn't know whether to be insulted or to be flattered, and I think, I think it deserves a place here in the museum. Do you think it's really bad though? I think it's bad. There's still plenty of bad art in stock just waiting to be unveiled. Anyway, I give you Tinkerbell in time. <laughs> Perhaps it'll be enough to stop bad art from getting a good name. It's so weird. People love it. Can't figure it out. They stand so long. They grow a beard. And that's what it's all about.